quel raté on met dans le massif ici. C'est à ce bouquin qu'on va aller. Golden Garden, 69 Street. Et là, qui t'a dit que tu vas être de l'âge de 18 ans. I was in grade 10. I was start the smoking cigarette first. Then when the times go ozone, uh, grade 11, I started to smoke Dacha. And it was wonderful, it was nice Dacha. Because I love it Dacha. I thought that I was excellent because I passed grade 11, I passed grade 12. Then I went to college. Then when I went to college, I done introduction. Then N4. Then N5, I met someone. And my best friend from Limpopo, he comes from Limpopo. And this guy introduced me to heroin, he called it Nyaope. And we started smoking with Zol and Rizla. Then first day, it was, it was nice. It was wonderful. I see the new world when I smoke in that thing. But when time goes on, I started to smoke Danda also. After Danda, I came to a uh, crystal meth. Then I spike it. I started to fail. My life was badly to my parents. I was the smoker, but my parents was the, the ones who feeling the pain. But I was not there for them. I was just for myself. I was selfish. I thought that I knew. I didn't knew. I went to my first rehab, House of Mercy. I was taking six, six weeks. Then when I come back, I relapsed because I thought that I knew. I thought I was doing it for my parents, not for me. Then I come to FRC, doing three months rehabilitation. I started to know myself now. I start to build myself. I start to build my life. I know what I want now. FRC, uh, FRC teach me a lot, bro. I know what I want now. Please, drugs, say no to drugs. Thanks, Khodmana. Like self-control, like behavior, responsible, respect, discipline, Next to take away from the also the connection of God, yeah. Okay, relationship with my family. It's not good, it's not bad. But I know they are there for me. I know they are there. It's not good, it's not bad. I don't know to their side. But to me, since I'm in here FRC, I'm thinking that they are also healed. Okay. My goal is my future, man. Uh, I got, uh, my, my parents have a company, a, a, a legacy. I have to, to take, care of, take care, of care of my legacy, like my CC brand. So my, my father is tired now. He says so. It's my time. It's my time to do that, to do that job for me. So what is in place for you now? that's going to make sure that you do not relapse again because you mentioned uh -huh. this is not your first career. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm scared of relapse because I'm old now. If I relapse, it's my end of world. I'm done with relapse. I'm scared of relapse. Uh, FRC uh, Center Kitabi uh, Tobani Counselor Akali Track Edit a track a counselor. A banfile for more for more eloring it on to Saholune, who pillow bag a key follow so that it's at low relapse. Oh, Livitala and a key relapse prevention plan. Thank you, Homo. Uh, my name is Togozani Yogana. I'm from Sibukeng Val. Uh, I started school at Lesedila Tutu Primary School. Uh, then I go to Mushati Secondary School. Uh, I think I started uh, smoking in grade 9. I started smoking weed. Uh, like I smoke weed every day, every day, every day. Till I met this friend, Wang Fundisi Crystal. 
Uh, that by that time I was working at Phoenix High for a as a security guard. Uh, but that time, uh, smoking crystal was not a problem to me because I had I had money to buy it. Uh, so I smoke, I smoke up until I lost my job. Then I started uh, stealing, started uh, taking other people's things, started robbing people. Then I lost my mother. That thing uh, hurt me a lot. So after uh, I lost my mother, I started to give up in life. I give up on me, I give up on myself. Till the day I met a girlfriend by the name of Tandi. Then she gave me a baby boy. Then that's where I started to realize that I must stop this thing of smoking because I grew up with, without a father. So I had to be a father to my son. I didn't want my son to feel the pain that I feel. So I started uh, asking other people about how can I find a rehab. So I started opening up at Spooking Hospital. I would go up. Uh, that guy... If ever I could go to Levi uh, I'll find Sanka there. Then I started attending Sanka this year uh, around September. I attended Sanka, I attended Sanka. Then I told the social worker there at Sanka by the name of Osma Kodu that I, I really want to go to Rehab because I can't live like this forever. I want to change my life for the bed. So on the 10th of October, I came here at FRC. Yeah, first time when I came here, it was a bit uh, hectic and harsh, yeah, because I didn't know what to expect here. So, by now, I, I, I'm pushing my program. I'm about to finish my program now. And I've learned a lot here in FRC. I've learned that uh, where is life, there is hope. I've learned that there is no words like such as uh, once a drug, always a drug. I know that I could change my life for the bad. I've learned what is an addiction, how to manage myself. I've learned to know myself better than before. So by now, I'm four months clean, and I'm pushing my program, and I'm willing, I'm willing to change my life for the bad. Uh, the worst thing that I've, I've ever done through my addiction is to rob people, housebreaking, and taking other people's stuff just to sell them with cheap prices. That's what can I say. It affected me a lot because now uh, I've lost uh, trust in my community. People, when they see me, they just see a theft. They just see a draggy. So it, it affected me a lot. I'm willing to do a uh, give back in my community, like street shower, like uh, running any meetings. Uh, motivate, motivating other guys that are still in addiction and telling them that there is a way and I'm willing to tell them that they cannot do this thing without God. Uh, in here in rap, I was a, a gambus dance part. Uh, that's uh, an activity that I used to do because I, 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 I knew it that I like it. The most of the pro uh, that I like in this program, I loved Encounter because it helped me to heal to heal the wound that I thought they will never be healed again. That's the only part that I like. I'm going to go back where I started at Sanka. I'm going to attend Sanka the way I used to attend, although I know I'm sued. I'm going to attend there for the rest of my life to motivate other people who are still there in addiction. Oh, and also, I will, uh, I will also uh, keep uh, in touch with my sponsors from FRC, call them every day when I get any chance, when I face any problem. Uh, my plans outside there, I just wanted to do my security certificate and then try to find some job. The time I'm looking for a job, I'll be attending my Sanka so that I will not be bored. And also, uh, my social worker here from FRC, Uzo Nipa, a relapse reprivation plan so that maintain uh, sobriety. Hi, my name is Oket. I'm a recovering drug addict. Um, it all started when I was about 19 years old. I was out with my friends and I was drinking and I was a little bit drunk and I bumped into somebody who tried to sell me some crystal meth and uh, just to help him out I gave him the money and 
in the return I got the crystal meth and two days later my friend I told my friend about it and he he showed me how to smoke crystal meth and then it got me then I carried on smoking crystal meth drinking kind of went together and uh, another friend of mine introduced introduced me to um, rocks and uh, rocks really took a lot for me um, I was addicted to rocks for about three or four years and it got very expensive um, I met a lot of bad people I was hanging around with the long, wrong friends living the party life I thought everything was good because I was earning money and a couple of years later I uh, ended up on the streets from Durban I came down to um, the Springs ended up on the streets here in Springside um, by that point, I was smoking a lot of Christmas on a day-to-day -day basis. Fortunately, I was still working. Nobody had noticed anything as yet. And um, uh, my father had left my mother. She divorced my mom and he came to live in Springs and he found me sleeping on the streets. At that point, he took me in, he cleaned me up a bit and um, I was clean off of drugs for about a year. And I must say, in that year, I felt very good. And then... Um, from there, things didn't work out with my father and the woman he married. And I went back to Durban to stay with my mom and my sisters. And um, things things were a bit tighter there and I, I felt very alone and rejected. And then one day I went out with my sisters and we had a couple of beers and I thought I could handle it. And then she dropped me off at home and once again I found myself in the township buying crystal meth. And I was smoking again on a day-to-day -day basis. Things went on. I was very fortunate. Um, I was very careful at work. I never got caught. Um, at that point, after a while, COVID hit. When COVID stopped, um, COVID game, things really got bad. My company then closed doors. Then I started hanging out on the streets, hustling with the guys. And I didn't realize the, the guys I was involved with were gangsters. And um, they were very demanding over things and the things we had to do. So I started stealing in order to keep my addiction going and things got really bad. I was stealing copper, I was breaking into places and stripping abandoned houses. Eventually I got into trouble with the, with the police. They caught on to me. All my so-called friends, they all sold me out. So I had to kind of run away from Durban and I came here to Springs. And I've been here for about a year and um, there again I was <coughs> looking for work couldn't find work. I was working in people's gardens and I knew I had more potential than that um, to my previous jobs and um, again I got hold of my mom in Durban and I told her the situation and I asked her can't get hold of my grandfather who had just moved to the site and he came down to give me some food and a little bit of money and he asked me what's my story, what's going on in my life and I could see he wasn't very happy and I told him about FRC that I I have to go to a church once a week to see a social worker and from there I can get accepted into rehab. And lucky enough my grandfather saw I was serious about this whole thing and he took me in and I, I went to the church week by week. I was still losing, trying my best, um, but I could see the pain in my family's face when I speak to them and I just got tired. Eventually I got taken in here by FRC. And I must say, I feel very blessed. I've learned a lot. The people are good, the social workers, the counsellors, even the guys in the dorms. We all try our best to um, make each other feel comfortable and help each other out. And I really hope from here I feel strong. I'm going to leave FRC. I'm going to keep my sobriety. I'm going to carry on with the NA meetings, find myself a sponsor and keep myself strong. In rehab, um, I realised that I have to forgive not just other people but myself to set myself free and um, I had to come closer to God also that was very difficult for me because I fell away from um, believing in Christ and yeah at FRC with the plays and worship and all that I've, I've worked my way up and I'm, I'm gaining my faith in God again. Yes. My short term goals, um, I said so in my classes last week, um, I first have to apply for my ID um, once I get my ID, I'm going to receive my ID the following month and then I'm going to get a job. I've got a job lucky enough set up for me outside. And then after three months, I want to just keep my job, um, work up the ladder in a better position. And hopefully by the end of the year, I can maybe sort myself out some transport. And I'm going to keep it as realistic 
so I don't let myself down in the long run. So far, um, I've made a lot of notes in class. I've taken them all home with me. I'm keeping all my step works. I'm going to keep redoing my step work to see my progress. My support structure outside, my grandfather, another auntie I'm going to stay with, they're going to keep an eye on me and I've just I've made sure that I'm not going to be alone. They're going to look after me. Yes. So uh, when I leave, I will ask for my RPP, just before I leave, and I will sit with my counsellor or my social worker and go through my RPP and answer those questions with um, honesty and, um, yeah, I want to stick to what I say. I would definitely um, recommend uh, FRC to many people outside. I've got a lot of good friends with just bad habits, um, especially my cousin. I mean, I'm also going to show him the 12-step program. And, yeah, if they, they're more than willing, I'll take them to the church and sh show them the social worker and go through the procedure with them and try to help them the same way I've been helped. My favorite thing to do in this program, um, I never used to like school, but yeah, in the classes, yeah, I'm learning a lot about myself and the workstation. I'm a hard worker and I enjoy sweating a bit after the day and feel make me tired to go to sleep. Yes. Thank you very much. Two. 